In order to ramp up RH60 ventilator production, you need many more production associates. Basically, more people on the line. And Brian Cost, how you doing? Hello. Brian Cost here has actually come out of retirement. Yes, I am. To come and work on the line. Yes. That's remarkable. How long were you retired for? Uh, I've been retired for two years uh, after 35 years in engineering at GE Healthcare. What made you come back? Well, you know, this is a, this is a worldwide story and uh, this is something I wanted to do, to come work in a high-speed manufacturing environment and help in the world at the same time. It's just awesome. What was the process of getting on the line? Oh, they just sent out a volunteer letter call for volunteers and they, they had me come in and do some training. And So how long did the training take? About a day. And what was your job before when you were at GE Healthcare? Uh, in engineering, design engineering at diagnostic imaging. So much bigger equipment than this, but uh, uh, lower volume as well. What was it that made you sign up to come back? I'm still an engineer at heart. This is something I can do. I love, I love putting this stuff together. I can help. And this is just a high speed manufacturing area. It's something I can help, I'm just loving it. The fact that these ventilators are coming off this line and being shipped all over the world. I mean, what you're doing here is yes. having a positive effect on many people that are critically ill with COVID-19. Yes. Um, you must sleep well at night. I sleep very well. I, I will tell you, after 35 years, I've had a lot of highlights in my career, but this will be one of them. And why is that? Because it's helping the world. We're, we're in the news. So, I mean, this is just great. And the R860 ventilator has literally come to the, to the forefront of news media just because of the lack of them. Yes. How has the ramp up that you've seen, the, the tempo, the busyness of the day, um, you must be non-stop as soon as you get into work. It is, it's a three shift operation now and it's very busy, the, the products are flowing here. I've got to do something every five minutes and pass it down the line, so it's very high paced. So what, what shift are you on? I'm on second shift. And what are those timings? I start at 3.30, get off at midnight, and that has been somewhat of an adjustment, but I got, I, I adjusted. So what time are you taking lunch now? Uh, 8 p.m. <laughs> and how has it been adjusting to that? <laughs> well, at my age, I have to, I can't eat as much as I used to, so uh, I just nibble a little bit, but it's been fine. And what time are you getting into bed? Uh, I drive an hour after this, so I'll get to bed at 1.30 in the morning. So you're actually coming in from quite far away? Yes, I am. How far is that? Waukesha, it's about an hour away. So really, you're doing a two-hour commute? Correct. Coming out of retirement? Correct. Uh, five days a week? Uh, or six, depending on what they need. But I'll work seven if they need it. When can you eventually retire? Uh, I could probably retire in a few more weeks totally retire unless unless the demand is still there and then I'll uh, I'll help out as long as they need me. Brian it's a real pleasure to meet people like yourself so thanks for taking a moment to chat. <laughs>